Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and we're back with another video. This time we're gonna be editing this chef's portrait. This portrait was created recently at a restaurant photo shoot that I did for this company. But let's get right into this video here. We're gonna be editing. So we're gonna be selecting the area that I wanna remove, and we're gonna be using generative fill to remove this portion of the jacket. You just type in remove and bam. Select the one that works best for me. I think I like this one here. We're gonna go with this. Now don't worry, we're gonna be actually um, inputting the logo back onto this chef jacket. So let's, uh, let's see here. I think I should just get a logo from the web for this jacket. Mitsokushi. Copy this. Put it right down into the Photoshop. We're gonna paste it. We're gonna get this logo, the text a little bit closer to the logo here. And we're gonna match the color that's on the jacket right now. Let's shrink this baby up here a little bit. And make the logo a little smaller. Squeeze it in right in there similar to what it was before, but this time you're gonna be able to read most of the letters unlike it was before. We're gonna use the distort and warp options here kind of distort the logo a little bit to make it look like it actually was on a jacket and give it that effect where it just doesn't look flat and fake and like it was just placed there, but more realistically to go along with the wrinkles here on the jacket. Always back up your work, guys. Always make a duplicate layer. A lot of people use Photoshop differently than others, but I love to make sure that I back things up just in case or create duplicate layers. So that way you can always come back to it. We're gonna blur this out just a little bit again to give it more of a realistic feeling. This looks pretty good to me. And now we're gonna work with some blemishes, some flaws. Let's get rid of some of that. We're gonna be using a spa healing brush tool. remove little blemishes, things that you can get rid of, things that we can remove without altering his appearance. If you guys have been enjoying what I've been putting out so far, leave me a comment below. Tell me how I'm doing. Give me your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so that way you get reminded and notified whenever I have a new video for you guys. I greatly appreciate all of your support so far. We're going to brighten his eyes just a tad bit here. I have my method. You start a new layer, you take the brush, you lower the opacity, give it a little good hit right under the pupil, and then you hit the glow. I'm sorry, and then you hit the overlay option in the uh, transparency options there. We're getting rid of these people here using generative fill AI. I love this thing. <clears throat> I love this feature, sorry. And uh, that way, you know, they're not in the background. They're not too distracting. Honestly, it didn't bother me as much, but I like this setting and I like to have a clean portrait. Let's, uh, let's 
get a little fix on this jacket here. Just a little bit. Yeah, there he goes. I'm a perfectionist, guys. You guys know this. <laughs> I like to make sure that uh, things look really good. Awesome. All right, let's just touch up these last few wrinkles here. All right, guys, this is pretty good to me here. I, I don't see anything else wrong with it. I, I like it. I don't want to do too much. Let's uh, review the before after. Wow, what a difference, especially there in the front of the jacket. Here's the after, the completed image. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. I'm really happy about it. So again, this was just a quick portrait edit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me some feedback. Again, subscribe to this channel, like the video. Thanks for watching.